हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू एज यू नो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन द पोएम द वॉइस ऑफ द रेन इट इज कंपोज्ड बाय वॉल्ट विटमैन वॉल्ट विटमैन नेक्स्ट we studied about the basic idea of this poem that in this poem the poet gives the imaginative description the poet provides the imaginative description of the rain you know there is a conversation between the poet and the soft falling star you know very well how it is possible but in the poetic way we can say it is highly you know imagination by the poet and the poet translate the conversation you know what the conversation was while he listen the soft falling shower he mentioned he translated the views of the shower what is being said here is the content see on the point of the earth i descend i descend to lay i descend to live the drops see i descend to live the drops atomies and dust layer of the globe and dust layer of a globe see and all in that and all in that in them without me without me means without rain were seeds only were seeds only latent and born latent and born and forever and forever by day and night by day and night i give back life to my own origin i give back life to my own origin okay and make pure and beautify it and make pure and beautify it okay for song here important uh, last line for song issuing from its breath place for song issuing from its breath place after fulfillment wandering after fulfillment wandering you know wrecked or unwrecked wrecked or unwrecked duly with the love returns duly with love returns you know students in this poem of walt whitman there is a conversation of the poet with the soft falling shower and what the soft falling shower answer when the poet asked that who thou you who are you then the soft falling shower uh, answer that i am the poem of the earth okay eternal i rise impalpable out of land in the previous stanza you know we came to know 
that the rain came out from the bottomless sea. Okay, that is his true origin. We heard it, you know, came out from the bottomless sea and upward straight went upward straight to heaven. We heard it's vaguely formed. As per strike say, Vahapriska Nirmano. It takes the form of clouds. And after that, it may once again came to the came towards the land. And after that it went straight to the sea. So it is a cyclic moment of rain. It's being shown here. I the soft falling shower, Yaniki rain. Descent, descent means niche girna. To lay, lay means bath karna, lehlana, dhona, the droughts, drought ko, sukhe ko, and atoms and dust layers of log. Jitne bhi dust layers hain, dharti par, jitne bhi mitri ke karn hain, jitna bhi sukha hai, un sab ko mein smapt karti hoon, it is being said by the voice of the rain. I am the poem of the earth, it is being said by uh, the soft falling sour, and after that it is being said, I decide to lay. मैं नीचे उतरती हूँ, लैब करने के लिए, धोने के लिए, नहलाने के लिए, ड्रॉट्स को, सूखे को समाप्त करने के लिए, जितने भी मिट्टी के पार्टिकल्स हैं, उनको और डस्ट लेयर हैं ग्लोब के ऊपर उसको ठीक करने के लिए। And all in that in them, and all in that in them means whatever is the thing on the planet without me means you know there may be several type of seeds across the world. But they can't sprout without the water. Water is the basic, you know, necessity for being sprout them. That's why it is being said, and all in that, in them, without me, what seeds? Kewal jo bees hai dharti ke upar, jo seeds hai, wo seeds hi rahenge, wo kabhi bhi phutenge nahi, aage panpenge nahi, padenge nahi, bade nahi hoge, jab tak ki un mein paani nahi lagega. Aur ye paani dene ka kaam, किसके द्वारा होगा रेन के द्वारा दे विल बी ओनली लेटेंट लेटेंट मींस हिडन दे विल बी इन हिडन फॉर्म एंड दे रिमेन ऑलवेज अनबोर्न दे विल नेवर बोर्न ओके एंड फॉर एवर बाय डे एंड नाइट एंड फॉर एवर डे एंड नाइट आई गिव बैक लाइफ टू माय ऑन अर्थ आई प्रोवाइड the life once again to my own true origin. Okay? And make pure and beautify it. And I always make the earth pure and beautiful. By the process of rain, it is only by the process of rain that the earth became very purified and beautiful. You know very well that it is the time when there may be lots and lots of drought across the world. And when the rain came, everything became full of rain. The greenery everywhere spread out. In the same way, here the point says for song issuing from its spread, there is a comparison. Here there is a comparison between the song and the rain. They came from their breath place after fulfillment, and when their work may fulfill, after that, in wandering in the here and there, moving all around. Whether they may be wrecked or unwrecked. Wrecked or unwrecked here means koi unko pechane, koi unko sune ya na sune. They may be heard or they may not be heard. Duly with love returns, they absolutely return to their own space. This prakar se, kawi ke har de se koi ek trikke se poem nikal di, koi geek nikal da. To wo apne isaab se, apne udishya ko pura karne ke pasha, wahaan se, wapi sushi ke andar chala jata hai. कोई उसके ऊपर इंटेंशन अपने रखे या ना रखे कोई उसको सुने या ना सुने लेकिन फिर भी वो वापस कवि के हृदय में चला जाता है उसी प्रकार से जो रेन है वो इसमें शो की गई है रेन को किस प्रकार से शो किया गया है एक तरीके से कि ये अपनी उत्पत्ति स्थल से क्रिएट होती पैदा होती है अपने प्रोसेस को प्रक्रिया को पूरी करती है और वापिस वहीं पर आ जाती है तो मैं ये कहूंगा कि यू हैव टू लर्न द साइक्लिक मूवमेंट ऑफ दी रेन हियर as far as the few of the basic thing is concerned, let me tell you here on
that see in the last few sentences uh, the poet the poet compares the rain you have to write down to a song the previous part i have already you know given to you uh, you have to make it the summary understand is uh, it as a summary or maybe the basic points related to this point the last few sentences the last few lines the poet compares the rain to a song a song you know rises from the heart of the poet okay the a song rises from the heart of the poet the poet showers the poet showers its strains okay on the earth on the earth it doesn't matter to him it doesn't matter to him whether anyone pays it whether anyone pay pays it it means attention to it or not to it or not okay after the poet has sung the song after the poet has sung the song it settles back to in, in his heart it it settles back to his heart it settles back to his heart okay which is its breath place which is its breath place the song keeps rising again the song keeps rising again in the same manner and again from again from there and again from there as the rain does so let's see you know in the previous part we came to know about the first two stanza even though there may be different lines in the poem we can't say that this stanza okay but the most significant last two sentences i have explained for you you have to write down that the poet compares the rain to a song okay there is a little bit of comparison with the song that a song rises from the heart of the poet okay the poet showers it strains on the earth it doesn't matter to him whether anyone pays heed to it or not it means attention after the poet has sung the song it settles back to his heart which is its breath place the song keeps rising again and again from there is uh, there as the rain does jis prakar se rain does uh, rain hoti hai usi prakar se ye nirantar jo hai is prakar se chalti rehti to dono ke andar bahut zyada ek samanta hai theek hai kuch question hai what is the cyclic moment of the rain kaise pucha jaye aapse what is the cyclic moment of the rain rain has a definite cyclic moment you know by the heat of the sun the vapors came out from the sea and it settles straight upwards to heaven 
and where it vaguely formed and that is the form of cloud and after that the same water in the form of droplets came down to the earth and once again it went straight to the sea. So there is you know a cyclic moment of rain and scientific uh, in the way of sci uh, scientific manner it, it is represented in this poem. So students what you have to do just uh, read the poem carefully I have completed the poem and maybe few of the questions even though the subject has been written in the next part.